when my uh, father took $120,000 out of my student loan. That hurt. My own flesh and blood. I'm not going to lie. We didn't have the best relationship. I wanted to make amends to him because of my younger brother. Because he needed him the most. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Patrick Blackwood in the building. Man, this here, this is how I first got started on YouTube. And fellas, we all go through this problems and stress and seeking validation from our peers and our family and our closest friends. But before we get into this whole thing that's going on with me, um, please click on that subscribe button for me. And let's get to this to about 5,000 subscribers. I really, truly appreciate that. You feel me? Go ahead and like the video, share the video, and all like the video and share the video because this is something that can enlighten you. You feel me? So please do that for me. Damn, where can I start, man? Where can I start? Where can I start? I ain't tell you guys, but... I'm from Florida. I lived in Florida my whole entire life before I transitioned to Atlanta. And um, man, I'm, I'm a person that have a dream. I believe that I was sent to this world to actually do something great. And I believe everybody had that same epiphany and the same thing, that same ambition. And But you guys need something to be pushed on. But I was the type of person in the past that would run away from my run away from problems, run away from trauma, run away from everything else. And man, I'm going to tell you this, y'all. It took me everything, everything to be the person that I am today. It took a lot of grit. It took a lot of um, sacrifice. It took a lot of uh, taking a lot of people out of my life, people that I thought that were my friends, people that I believe that had the best interest for me. You get what I mean? So when you go through this journey of self-improvement, you're going to lose friends. You're going to lose family. You're going to lose people that you think God loves you for, for who you are. And it's okay. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you the reason what happened to me at the end of the day so you guys can understand that this is going to happen to you. And I, I don't want it to happen to you, but hopefully you have the right people around you that can support you and give you unwavering faith, which I did had one person that did that for me. Um, you know, I really thought it would be my family that have my back when I made this transition. I really thought that my homies would have my back when I made this transition as well. They never did, man. It's crazy. I always wanted to play football, man. I was the only one that's throwing the ball to myself, putting the work in. Um, I didn't have all the money in the world to go to these camps or these facilities to be trained with these guys. You get what I mean? And it took a lot from me. It took a lot. I worked a nine to five. I did everything I can to be the man that I need to be. I want to put everything out there, man. I was with my ex high school sweetheart, and I was ba we were back and forth with everything that's going on with our relationship. And don't get me wrong, I, I did some wrongs, and it made me who the person I am today. But what really got me over the edge is when she told me, like, "Yo, you know, football is not working for you. You should get a regular job." That pushed me to the next level. She never had any faith in me, bro. This is the same woman that I put $1,500 in her pocket to get her breast reduction. This is the same person that fucked me over, bro. She told me that she loved me. And then she told me that she didn't want to be with me and be with somebody else. But she came and asked that guy for that money. Yeah, I'm just trying to let you guys know that regardless of the relationship, 
regardless of what's going on with anything that's going on with you. Now, it hurt, it hurt my heart. To this day, I haven't got paid from her. You get what I mean? Like, it pushed me to the next level of she had the audacity to tell me that I will never make it to football. Years later, I made it. It took me 16 years to play my first season. I won a championship, bro. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. Whatever you put in your mind, you can actually conquer. You can actually conquer. This is the same girl I call years later just to have an eating show so we can actually talk about what happened in the past. And this lady try to use the same manipulative uh, thing like, oh, this is you? Like, I'm not the same person anymore. I'm not the same guy that you thought I would be. You get what I mean? It's crazy. But that's just how people are. For real. You, you got to understand that people's not going to be, you don't have the best interest for you. And that's what's going to happen at the end of the day. You understand? So it took a lot from me, man. It took a lot from me. One of my best friends that I went to college with, I had his back. He had a lot of woman problem and uh, he betrayed me. Like, he real deal betrayed me, bro. Um, before I came before I came to Atlanta and actually lived in Atlanta, he, we actually took a trip to Atlanta. And we were about to start a business for each other because he was really expertise in stocks. And um, we literally went... We split the bill half and half when we was doing our business stuff. The people that we meet and then we you want me to actually meet, I put money down to actually meet these people, pay food, did everything I can on my part of the business. Now, we came to Atlanta. I paid my half for the trip, my plane ticket, went half with Airbnb, the Airbnb with him. And this is the same person that's told my ex-girlfriend that I ain't paid for nothing. That he paid for everything. You see how people, you see how people move now? You see how people move? And let's, let's go deeper in that. This is the same person that almost got hit by a car and I saved his life in college. This is the same person when he had beef with a guy, I took on his beef and defended him like he was my brother. This is the same guy that went betrayed me and talked about behind my back because I didn't have a job. And to a girl that I'm trying to get to know at the same time, but went behind my back and tell her some shit that was supposed to be confidential with me and him. I think that's Fugazi shit, man. That's some Fugazi stuff. His wife died. I had sympathy. I show him appreciation. I show empathy. And this is what I what happened to me. Um it's crazy, bro. It's, all this is crazy, fool. Like, I don't understand how people move like that. But this is show you what kind of per people are. They don't want the best for you. And that's what motivated me, man. This is the same guy saying, man, you should go to Atlanta. You should go ahead and push for football. Push and get where you need to go. Get into YouTube. I will always be your friend. I was the main one that's calling and check up on them. Get no texts, no calls, anything like that. I'm always the person to do everything. Always. But not the same thing in return. Now when I got a little something going on, got a little flame on, on YouTube, got a little thing that's going on for YouTube, now he's like, oh, man, you forgot about me. You see what I'm saying? Like People just envy 
Sean want to have resentment. This want to have more power just because they, because they have a little money, right? And all along, like I, I showed my interest. I showed him like, like, yo, I really want to do this business with you. Man, cut me off of business. Can't even tell me up as a man. You can't even tell me as a man at all. You know what burned him? That I actually played football and I won a championship and I got got so much better on YouTube. It's it's all these things that's piling up. Now, going towards my family, bro. Kid you not, coming up here and I was just taking a risk of getting my YouTube started. Hell, bro, I don't even know what I was doing on YouTube in my beginning of my, my journey. I didn't know what the words to put together. I couldn't comprehend, but my family didn't believe in me. And that shit hurts, bro. It hurt, it hurt, it hurt. They were saying, what are you doing? You shouldn't be doing this. You should, you should have been just doing your regular job because why would you even do this? They will question my sexuality. They didn't understand that I was here for a purpose to make something better for myself because I know, I know in my heart, like real talk, I know in my heart I was something special. I was something that I can do for myself. I know that I could bring something to my bloodline. There's nobody in my bloodline that are millionaires, bro. None of my bloodline is not chasing their passion. None of my bloodline didn't know what to do. I out, I outpaced my own bloodline, bro. I learned everything that I need to know from my bloodline. This is no disrespect to them. I am the most, without them, I got to give them gratitude, especially to my moms, because she made me the person that I am, a man as I am. I'm kind. <laughs> I'm resilient because I see how my mom works. And I'm I'm damn sure resilient too as well just because of her. Um, but what hurts me the most when I, when my uh, father took $120,000 out of my student loan, that hurt. My own flesh and blood I'm not going to lie. We didn't have the best relationship. I wanted to make amends to him because of my younger brother. Because he needed him the most. He's young. He's a young adult. He's, what, 22, 23 now? And he needed him the most. Took $120,000 of student loans out of me. Took a $700 off of my own younger brother credit card. I know I needed to be a better man for my younger brother so he could look up and say, like, damn, I need something different. I can I could look up to my older brother and say, like, that's a fucking man right there I can actually talk to and ask him for anything that any uh, perspective and he can lead me the way of show me a way to understand what life is. It hurts me. I'm not going to go in front with y'all. But that trauma, that pain, I had to really give myself a reality check. And I started to understand I had abandoned issues. I had traumatic daddy issues, bro. That's the reason why I was lying. I couldn't hold myself accountable. I wasn't taking ownership. I was self-sabotaging. All these things. I was holding back. I was so uncomfortable having these tough conversations with myself. I had to break down and cry, bro. All along, I was doing healthy things while I was going to the gym. And the reason why I was self-inflicting in the gym, because I had all these trauma. Yes, I had passion for football. And I always loved football. But it was just trauma that I couldn't really talk to anybody about. And I want you guys to relate to that because 
it takes a real man to understand that so you can move forward and be great. And I know you guys are great now. I know you guys are great. Sometimes you don't have to worry about seeking that validation from your inner family or your peers because they probably won't have your back. You got to do this alone. And it's lonely at the top, bro. A lot of people are not going to tell you that. You have to look inward. You have to deprogram. Do everything the opposite. You have to be brave and have courageous. Be courageous and do the things that your mind tell you not to do. You have to unwire yourself. And how that happened for me, I had to sit in to Czech Republic alone and ask myself, why do I lie? Why can I hold myself accountable? Better yet, my ex, <laughs> it was so funny. My ex was telling me some real shit and she told me the truth. Man, I'm going to my ex house to do a, a vlog for the next 30 days. I'm like, wait, what? And I was like, how the fuck you so brave to tell me that? You know what I mean? By the way, my, my ex is a YouTuber. But what I'm saying is, for her to do that, I had to look inward with myself. I had to. I had to real talk with look inward with myself. And I was like, nah, shit got to change. I got to do better for me. I want better for me. I got to take care of myself. And I know you guys can do the same thing. I know you guys can do it. I, I did all the self-sabotaging from getting to Czech Republic when I was in the middle of the game. Didn't practice. I let everybody have their own reps because I wanted to start. I was worrying about what everybody else was doing, but not controlling what I had to control. And that's the problem with you guys. You guys don't control what you can control. You can control your weight. You can control the way of you, how, the way of you thinking, the way how you think by putting positive thoughts in your mind. You have to deprogram yourself, bro. To be the man that you need to be, to get the woman that you want, you have to deprogram yourself and put the self-worth and self-love into you to be the man where you need to be. You attract abundance by you doing that. I want you to understand that. Look at yourself inward and do what you need to do for yourself. You understand? It took a lot from me. Once I made it to Czech Republic playing football, one of my intimate family, which is my aunt, and I already knew it took, she was taking shots at me. Oh, you finally made it. <laughs> Instead of just saying, congratulations, you finally made it. You know what? There's a lot of insecurities when it comes down to family. And I'll read between the lines now because I know myself so much inward that I don't even need to take any disrespect from anybody. I don't even, I'm not going to raise my voice. There's no need. But when somebody disrespect you, you got to set a, a great boundary. This is the reason why I don't give people my number all the time. <laughs> I live a peaceful life, y'all. Fellas, I live a peaceful life for a reason. I won't tolerate disrespect from anybody. I don't care about my family. They come disrespect me. They can't disrespect me. No woman can disrespect me. I won't take any disrespect. I won't. I just can't. So I want you guys to understand that you got to hold yourself accountable. Don't take disrespect from anybody. Don't be gullible. Look, really look inward with yourself. Really just took, just take a deep breath. Understand you can actually do this, bro.
because it took me some time to understand that. And the universe will test you, bro. It will test you with gratification, with adversity, and people that you need to set boundaries for. That's why the universe will do that. Just to test you to see if you're going to pass the test. And every time you pass the test, they will put you in the next level, in the next level, in the next level. That's just how it is, bro. But until next time, y'all get back with you guys later. Love.